How's it going, everyone? I stopped by this Halo Halo stand yesterday for a quick summer pick me up. Filipino summer peaks from April to May. There are obviously variations of shaved ice desserts globally, from simple snow cones to the various types of Taiwanese and Italian shaved ice to Southeast Asian chendols and Korean bingsus with the strawberries and mangoes piled high. For those of you who don't know, Halo Halo is the Filipino version of a shaved ice dessert. Halo Halo Story is a food stall in Quezon Avenue that sells both classic Filipino Halo Halo and that brand's own concoctions, which you can see in their menu that I displayed on screen. I ordered one classic Halo Halo ng kapitbahay, that means your neighbor's Halo Halo. The kapitbahay or neighbor here in question is a reference to enterprising neighbors who sell homemade shaved ice desserts out of their front yards. It contains the most typical ingredients in traditional Halo Halo. Please just read the ingredient list on screen. The one traditional ingredient that Halo Halo story did not include is langka or jackfruit. Hmm. The special version just includes ube ice cream. For those of you who don't know, ube is the Filipino kind of purple yam. It is distinct from other kinds of purple yam, so don't get it mixed up. What made this store's halo halo unique from typical halo halo is that the milk is already pre-mixed into the shaved ice, kind of like the East Asian shaved ice desserts in Taiwan and Korea. But of course, the formula is different, like the amount of condensed milk, so it tastes different. Plus, the ice to milk ratio is different, so the mouthfeel is different. In traditional Filipino halo halo, they put a ton of crushed ice at the bottom. It's not finely shaved ice from commercial blenders, like the typical shaved ice from those richer East Asian countries that I mentioned above, but kind of bigger chunks of crushed ice because the seller or people's homes usually only owns a hand-cranked ice grinder or crusher. You better hope you have strong teeth. Then the beans, leche flan, other various toppings are layered on top of the crushed ice. And then you pour milk, evaporated or condensed over it, and the crushed ice will slowly melt to be somewhat chewable. Or some people dump all the toppings at the bottom, and then they put the crushed ice on top. Note, usually not finely shaved ice, since the traditional way only uses hand-cranked ice crushers and not commercial blenders. Halo is the Filipino verb for to mix, and that's where this shaved ice dessert got its name from. Because traditionally, you have to mix it thoroughly yourself with all the crushed ice and the layered toppings and the evaporated milk. But I guess that would be really messy for a stall like this that's heavily reliant on takeout and online orders. Plus, they only have two tables for on-site dining. It's going to be a mess with people pouring milk all over the place. Since this is a gentrified version and the ice is finely shaved and the milk pre-mixed in, and they already layered the toppings for you with some of the bottom and some of the top, you won't have a hard time stirring and sifting through it and mixing it. With traditional halo halo, there's always a danger of stuff falling out of the cup, whether some toppings or crushed ice, since you're trying to move some of the ice from the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom and the toppings from the bottom to above the ice. But if you just keep eating the milky crushed ice and neglecting the bottom, then you're going to have a whole bunch of beans and bananas and ube jam and leche flan left at the bottom when you've run out of ice. Plus, they won't even be that cold anymore, especially in this tropical summer. Keeping the structural integrity of a traditional halo halo intact is a nightmare. Clearly, I speak from experience since we don't have this gentrified, fancy version growing up in the 80s and 90s. My other order is the triple ube version. This isn't strictly a typical Filipino halo halo as it does not have the other typical ingredients. It just tripled down in the ube. I said triple down instead of double down because I'm distinguishing it from their double ube menu entry. Again, a reminder, ube is the Filipino kind of purple yam. The triple ube or ubing ubing ube entry that I got has ube ice cream added to it on top of the two other ube items in the double ube or ubing ube menu item. Special frozen ube milk and ube halaya, ube that's made into a paste or a jam. As I mentioned above, their shaved ice is pre-mixed with milk. For the ube variants, they pre-mixed it with their special frozen ube milk which I guess is milk that's got some ube mixed into it. I couldn't really see the mixture if they use powder or the ube halaya, that paste that they mix into milk. I don't know. Couldn't see the mixture, couldn't shoot footage because they do all their food prep inside the stall. You claim your halo halo from their side window when they call your number. To recap, I got one halo halo ng kapitbahay, neighbor's halo halo, the special one with no ice cream, and one triple ube, ubeng ubeng ube, which is ube ice cream. I just got 
some of the ube ice cream from the triple ube order and I transferred it to the halo halo ng kapit bahay neighbor's halo halo cup, the one with no ice cream. That way, the ice cream is evenly distributed. It was pretty good, can't complain, although the price is a bit high compared to my favorite halo halo joint, but I guess it's alright. I suppose you're also paying for the peace of mind of getting clean ice and whatnot from the street. Some people do have sensitive stomachs and easily get sick from ice from non purified water from street food, I don't know. Alright, I hope you enjoy this video and this refreshing shaved ice dessert. Do you like shaved ice desserts? What's your favorite? Please comment below. Please thumb up this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to be updated when I upload again. See you next video!